wanted to show you a little bit about how I seam a project. This is a bag that I'm working on. Um, I've already seamed this side and as you can see you can't really see any of the stitching or the monk's cloth showing through. I have first prepped it by just surging and not folding over twice because I didn't want that much bulk on my edges. So I've just whip stitched this down and the corners I have taken and made sure I've got a nice point on them so that when I match them up it will be easier to have them join nicely. I do like to seam from the bottom up to the top. Uh, it's easier to have your hand on the inside. I am right-handed, so that's the way I like to do it. Um, if you're left-handed, should be the same thing from the bottom up. I uh, use just a basic, so this is actually a little bit heavier, I think this might be a buttonhole thread, but certainly a plain poly thread would work well. And what I like to do is have a double strand, don't work more than, this is probably a little bit more than a foot, but this is the way I like to make a knot. A friend of mine told, showed me this way and I just love it. So hold your threads perpendicular to your needle, grasp them there, wrap the thread around it several times. Now what you want to do is grab your needle and you're holding on to that thread and you're going to glide your thread that all the way down to the bottom and you'll have a nice good sturdy knot there. I hope you can see that okay. Another thing you want to do is hide it. So eh, just somewhere in there. Pull your thread through. Now what I'm going to do also here is to make sure that my tops meet. I am going to line them up there and then I have this big pearl head pin, any kind of pin that you can get through all those layers. And just secure the top. You don't really need to secure anywhere else on the project. And then what I'm going to do to start with is you want to grab, this might be tricky to see, a little bit of yarn monk's cloth, monk's cloth, and a little bit of yarn. It'd be the same thing as if you were working with fabric strips. You'd grab a little bit of that fabric strip. And at the bottom I might go a little bit closer, but I'm really going to be working with about quarter inch stitches. And you can kind of hold the thread, since it's doubled sometimes it does get tricky and give it a big strong tug and you're just going to ladder stitch your way up through there it's hard to do this when the camera is in between you so I hope you can see that okay and give it a big strong strug now if you make longer stitches just beware that you don't pull too hard because then you'll get a wavy edge but as I said, you know, quarter inch stitches, you're, you're good. You're going to have a lining in this as well. Hold it. Give it a snug. And as you can see already, it's already coming together so that you can't see anything. So what you want to do is continue that all the way up to the top. Put a knot in it when you get to the top. And then just hide that thread back inside. There you have it. A nice seam that you can't see.